So welcome back to part two of my round at Windy Hill Golf Club in Glasgow. So after the front nine, I was six over par, but two shots under my handicap. So this, on the 10th hole, which is sort of 181 yard par three, and I've absolutely knifed the three iron. Um, I think it's probably lucky if it went about six feet off the ground, to be honest, but thankfully it, it finished up on the, just off the back hand side of the green. So looking at a bit of a long putt back down the hill here, and massively missed this as you're about to see because the ball doesn't even end up in the frame at the end of it. So I'm looking about 12, 15 foot putt back up the hill to for a par and <laughs> amazingly rolled it back in so still six over par, now three shots under my handicap through a 10. We're on to hole number 11 which is a sort of uphill par 4. So just thinking hit two iron off the tee again just get the ball up and play and caught a really nice one off the tee to be honest. End up just to the left hand side of the fairway. Gonna give myself good position into the pin. So out here I'm looking about like I had 85 yards in which is normally a good number for me but playing uphill um, obviously not gonna go as far and ball just just got onto the front of the green or in, in the first cut anyway at least. So two shots to here and looking at a nice putt up the hill, just a bit of a misread on it to be honest, slid on by, I didn't even slide on by to be honest, I didn't even make it there. Um, so yeah, I've got about six feet up the hill now and yeah, misread again, that's not on the low side, not really what you want to do. So now we come on to hole 12, which is sort of long par 4, which is the fairway you can see in the distance is basically the only fairway that you can hit off the tee, and then there's massive load of rough after that that you don't really want to be in. So I was forced to play 2 iron off the tee. I did pull it into the left, and I had to basically chip it back out onto that fairway patch. Um, so I was looking at 210 yards up the hill to the green for, with my third shot into a par 4, not really ideal, but a four iron basically is as good as I would hit it. Just short left slightly. Um, played a nice little pitch on to the green in four. So looking at a, an outside chance basically of walking away for five amazingly off the tee, which is quite incredible to be honest given the, the circumstances. And just stuck it in the left hand side of the hole. Um, this is probably the best putting round I've had in a while to be honest. So, hole 13, long par 5, and it's not really long, but for this course it is. And just like on front 9, having the yips with the, the driver, which isn't very good to be honest. I think I hit that probably about 90 yards in total. So, just trying to get somewhere up there with the second. Didn't catch 4 iron particularly good to be honest. Um, a little bit thin, you can see on this one just how much the ball is above my feet on the third and my foot sort of slipped as you can sort of maybe see on that just as I was coming through so caught that massively heavy. Now looking at a fourth in from about 110 yards it was playing up the hill so just trying to flight a little gap wedge but I did catch it maybe a tad too high up but we've got a putt anyway and we're looking here a long, long putt for a five up the hill. And this one did go past the hole, pulled it slightly. Um, left myself with a tricky little five, six footer, a little bit of a slider in here. And thankfully <laughs> the pin was there, rattled it straight off of it. So we're still three under my handicap at this point in the 14. So I've, I have missed my tee shot basically recording this, but I've, I've hit a second here just to show basically me hitting a shot into the green. The the first shot, as you'll probably hear me say, actually was slightly better. First one is just better. As you can see, walking up, the one on the right was my first shot, even though it looks further away there, it was actually closer in to the hole. So we've got a long putt here for birdie. And to be fair, not the worst putt. Nice little lag up anytime you've got a sort of little tap in, to be honest. Um, 
pretty happy from that sort of distance. So yeah, roll that in for a three. And yeah, things are still rolling along quite nicely for myself. So onto the 15th, now this, again, par five, playing uphill most of the way. Got a nice shot on this one off the two iron, learning my lesson not to hit driver again. But the, this, this whole slopes from left to right, down the way as you can see how far this ball is below my feet. This ball landed straight middle of the fairway and kicked right down into the rough. And my second here, I've hit four iron into the green and it's come out like an absolute bullet. And I mean, the, the camera on the next shot doesn't do it justice, but this is right up against the back wall. <laughs> so I'm about 20 yards past the green on my, my second, chipping back up. Got a nice little where I just thought it would have rolled just perhaps a little bit further than it did, just seemed to stop when I got up there. So I have got a long putt here for a four. Um, yeah, it just seemed to slide again, so not quite getting used to some of the the, the reads on these longer putts, but again, not really the worst. Left myself about three feet for a little knock in. Walk away from par, quite nice. So this is what I'd probably say is the, the signature hole on the course, the 16th. Um, tight, off the tee, tree lined all the way. Plays downhill, then back uphill to the green. Absolutely lovely. So I'm just hoping to hit a sort of good one off the tee to do this hole justice. But yeah, thankfully caught one of probably the best strikes of the day. The two iron, so playing back down, looking over the whole of Glasgow from this hole, so it is really, really nice. So, prime position, middle of the fairway of the second, got about 120 yards playing up the hill though, so hitting a little pitching wedge in, and <laughs> absolutely ruined what was the perfect tee shot with an absolute shank on the next one. So, I'm about 30, 40 yards wide, right of the green here, to pitch back up with a 62, 62, 56 even. Um, Good decent shot actually, considering where I was. And yeah, amazingly left myself with um, a par putt out of that. And <laughs> slightly pushed it and flipped out. So, probably with that second shot, a deserving five to be honest. Um, don't think you really deserve to have a, a four when you hit a shot as bad as that. So, 17th back down. See we're playing the weather's coming back in now, so it's playing sort of into the wind with the rain. It's beginning to come in now. But caught a lovely two iron off the tee again, so it old reliable for me. Put myself into a nice little position here, get myself I think it was about 70 yards into the green. So slightly downhill. Just tried to flight a little 56 in. It was perfect distance wise to be honest, just a bit of a pull, so left myself I'd say about 20 feet left of the pin, but pin high so distance control quite good on that one. So nice little birdie putt coming up, and <laughs> it must have honestly been about 2 inches short of the hole, I think just the, um, I don't think pace control, just the a little bit of the rain coming in now. So on to the 18th. Um, I'm basically just trying to play the two iron off the left side here, that's what I'm aiming at, and hoping it'll fade back out to the right because it slopes sort of um, right to left on this hole. And played that basically exactly as I would want to off the tee. So I've given myself um, just a little wedge in, and it was the wind had picked right up at this point, so I thought I'd just try and a little pitching wedge in here. Just tried to control it, but yeah, just sort of, I don't want to say sliced it, but it was um, a, a heavy push. <laughs> it's probably the best way to describe it. So, a good 30 foot putt here, and you can see the swing on this, but I'm just giving it far too much pace. So, so I'm now looking at a tricky little Par putt coming back up for what would be an 81. So you can see I'm just trying to gauge roughly where to aim on this one. And yeah, complete misread. Under Reddit, 
walking away with five on the green. Lovely three putt to finish the round. And that's the joys. So finished with a score of 82, which with my handicap around this course is 15, which is a net 67. So all things considered, that's pretty good for where I am at the moment. And for my second round back, um, playing properly, things are looking pretty good. So, so yeah, cheers for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.